Hey riders, how you doing? It's Paul with a ride home review. Uh, I know it feels like it's been forever since I've done one of these, but uh, um, so tonight I I watched uh, three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, um, and it's star. Uh, it's directed by Martin McDonough, who also did a nice movie called In Bruges. If you haven't seen In Bruges, I highly recommend it. Um, and it starred Francis McDormand, uh, Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson. And the story takes place in, obviously, uh, Ebbing, Missouri, a small town in Missouri, in which Francis McDormand puts up three billboards to get the police in action to investigate the rape and murder of her daughter. And so we... That's the start of the movie, and then we catch the repercussions of those issues after that. Uh, what did I like about this film? The film was, uh, the performances were great. Uh, I was really impressed with uh, Francis McDormand and Sam Rockwell. I thought, yeah, if you're fans of them and their work, you're going to really enjoy what they do in this movie. Um, and I liked, uh, you know, I, I thought uh, Woody Harrelson wasn't developed enough, um, but but yeah, I mean, first of all, the performances were good. The cinematography was great. You got to see the rolling hills of Missouri. They really uh, um, created the place as a character. It was it was good in that in that uh, uh, moment. What I didn't like was. Um, it felt like some of the pacing was a little disjointed in the story. I liked the story. The concept was great. It was a nice original story um, about a murder in a small town um, and how it disrupted an entire family. But, uh, but yeah, there was parts of the story that were a little disjointed. Um, some of the things that didn't uh, really... Uh, flesh out I think enough um, and so some of the pacing was a little bit off I thought some of the comic timing was a little off uh, but for the most part it's a really good story it's it's interesting um, the actors do a wonderful job and it's a far cry from what you see at in Bruges from the same director so um, what to watch for what to watch for is really about who this story is really. Uh, that was what was interesting to me. It's a little bit of a misdirection and um, where you think there's uh, a lack of closure, there really is a lot of closure. And that's what's interesting. So that's what I would have you pay attention to. Um, where where I still feel like some of the pacing was a little bit off and, you know, some of the uh, characterizations were a little eh. Uh, I think if you really pay attention to what the story is revolving, who the story is revolving around and what they're doing and how they develop as a character um, is what was interesting to me about this movie. So that's what's, that's what's really cool is that type of misdirection. So, uh, there you go. It's a really good movie. Um, other than the, you know, the minor plot holes and, um, pacing. Um, uh, should you go to the film movies to see it? Nah, I think you'd, you'd be good without doing that. But if you like Sam Rockwell and you like Francis McDormand, you won't be disappointed. I said that before. I said that right at the beginning. As always, remember to subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also it come, this comes out as a podcast um, on iTunes, and there's always my Anchor channel. you got to catch it fast on Anchor because it disappears. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think, and looking forward to next week. All right. Have a good week. Bye.